this one. I'm trying to block out his email. Alright. Went to Resolution Center. Okay, that does not show his email. So, sorry, that's not close enough. That's too close. Alrighty, so, um, started December 15th, and this was after, oh, and I didn't get refunded, or I wasn't closed until January 18th, that's quite the time. It wasn't because he returned my money, it's because PayPal decided in my favor. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna, gonna do this while I do view, that way I'm not showing the email. I'm trying not to do that. Okay, alright, so, sorry, there it is. Alright, so, Says, be a reason, item not as described, case status closed, case resolution decided in your favor. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's go to view case history. Um, actually, hold on a sec, let me see if there's anything more down. case history and that's fine. Alright. Um the meld evidence I will show you in a little bit. As uh meld evidence is that I uh supposedly tried or decided not to return it or um, said that I wanted to keep it which in reality I actually pulled it out of context when I was freaking out on the idea that it was not passing any of the tests for real ambergris and instead he sent me messages and of somebody else or perfumer and saying that Anyway, he was convincing me that it was real anyways. And then with his promises afterwards, he totally nigged on. Anyway, so I think that's enough. You can see the time frames, the stuff that was done, and I had an issue over and over and over again. Uh, they weren't getting they weren't getting the information that I was sending them so I literally okay let's they kept requesting that information again and again for the um, tracking number for returning it. So we'll go here and these are to their services because I kept sending it there because I couldn't seem to get it otherwise. Let's see. Okay. 
So this is customs form or the extra one and these forms and pictures are the only reason why I ever got a refund because he refused to take it or he refused to accept my return and when it was sent back well for some reason the mailman that's over there couldn't read clearly the addresses and stuff so I don't really get it but the guy could not read the addresses that were on there and the only reason I got my money back was because the shipping company to uh, return my shipping cost needed these as well as a picture of my receipt let's go I uh, forget which one has the receipt I thought one of these had the receipt also has the date anyways for some reason the mailman didn't seem to know how to ship it to the right address even though it was clearly on the package and the uh, customs forms uh, where is that date okay 1228 was a shipping date and yet they kept asking for that all right So let's go up here. Um, I did try doing the video earlier, but it seemed to go a little funky and sideways. And the only reason I'm doing this is because the guy is trying to be very drama causing, as well as the fact that he has tried to paint himself as a nice guy that keeps his word when he hasn't and in fact this guy has done me very very dirty and I had to fight to the nail and like I said if it wasn't for those pictures you saw I would have never got my money back mm. alright if you want to read everything you're going to have to pause it and yeah when I, I'm in this kind of mode I really just don't give a shit I'll expose everything if I have to. I don't fucking care. Okay, so here is where I was already getting my doubts. Notice this is 11 14, 2017. see my concern is there all the way back then okay that was right after I got it sorry so here's how I identified an actual place that is noted for identifying buying and selling ambergris just a moment me other names of people that have or perfumers and handing out their stuff 
man to try and convince me. And in this message here, he took out of context. Mind you, at the time, I have not ever even worked with Amber Green at that time. Or, anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's someone that obviously has already stated that they don't know, and they're sitting there looking at these other areas that tells you what Amber Green actually is, and they're bonafide knowingly, and you keep telling them. Yeah, you know, you already know they're insecure about it being real, and you make promises. You keep your promises. You don't break your word to them. I mean, obviously they're a little bit on insecure ground at the time. Especially for 300 so dollars. Yeah, um, you have to stop messages and look up. I actually did the other test to see if it would actually work. It was weird, tin metallic smell, and it didn't extend the life, and it destroyed uh, one of my best made fragrances. It was just, it, it failed. Yeah. Now, if you have concerns and you don't have without a shadow of a doubt that something is real, do you tincture it up and turn around and sell it off to other people? No, you do not. And that was not cool, his suggestion there. Sorry, that's not yet. You'll read that. It's not there yet. Sorry, that was not it. He actually suggested because I, I didn't know. Uh, I actually turned around and tried to get me to go ahead and still tincture it up and sell it to other people because that was one of the things I wanted to do was to be able to do that. And because I didn't have the certainty in my art that it was real, I couldn't do that, obviously. I mean, would you? No. Alright, so at this point he was telling me he didn't have any money at the time and that was understandable. So, um, oh well, you know what, just read it. After we had an agreement, 
already up here that he didn't have to pay me right now. I even talked to eBay to extend the time that he had to give it the money back till he did have the money. Uh, or for obviously longer than... <sighs> Anyways, he turned around and changed everything. He closed the account, or closed the case with eBay, or, uh, yeah, eBay. Uh, let's see, two, 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 two. Oh yeah, we gotta go back to inbox. Oops, sorry. Bang, bang. Two, two, two. Sorry about that. A moment. Yeah, so... Even though I did all that, he thought he found a way out of being able to give me any kind of return or anything and totally closed the case entirely. So... There's somebody here. <laughs> huh? Anyway. Um, we got till January 29th. That was... Four, that was later than even the case was closed. Anyway, it's probably... Yeah, I didn't read. Please note, message taken out of context. And this stuff was, that was below the belt. And 
now that you've read all of that, here's what he just sent me. Ah, yeah. We now know that's not true, don't we? Yeah, so now he starts trying to threaten me, but on top of it, I don't live in Italy, so. Don't need to know Italian laws. I live in the United States. Yeah, so, um, this is obviously just wrong the whole way. And if you've stopped and read everything, uh, you'd know that not only did he underhand me, he broke his word with me every step of the way. He changed everything. And he seemed so nice at first. Anyway. Anyways. Um, so that's the end of the video. Man is his name on eBay. And yeah, I already showed you those. But yeah, the only reason I got my money back was because I actually asked the clerk to take some pictures as it was going out, as well as of the forms and send them to me and the only reason that those were actually finally gotten by paypal was their partner to try and get a refund for the return shipping when you're basically underhanded by the seller so uh because they got that information and the receipt pictures from them because for some reason it wasn't working uh, trying to send it to their services. I don't know why, but it wasn't. And, yeah. I think this is after I already... No, that wasn't after I already shipped it. Anyways, if you looked on the dates from a messenger, you can actually see that um, And he started saying all that stuff that I got my money back and December 28th, which I didn't. I didn't get my money back until January 18th was when they decided to give me my refund. But I obviously still wasn't able to have my money yet because it's got to still pass through all the other stuff. Anyway, um, that's it. And, uh, I, I just don't like being underhanded by people like that. And, regardless, even if it ended up being real, and even if it is real, I'm still not certain on that, to be honest, I still am not. But I still know for a fact it didn't pass the test back then at all. Uh, unfortunately, it did come back to me two months ago. Hey, Grandma. You see, it was already shipped. Grandma? But it did come back to me. Two months ago, almost a year later, because 
the mailman wasn't returning it to the address that was clear on the freaking package. Instead, it would have been some wrong address right down the street or right down the hallway. I do not know. All I know is that the mailman would not return the package directly to that address even though it was clear. And that is why with those pictures showing that I sent it to the right address that PayPal gave me to return it to is the only reason I got my money back. Period. I wouldn't have not gotten it back if I did not have that clerk take pictures and send it to me. So no, Fabio Lupo did not willingly give me my money back. In fact, he underhanded me every step of the way even when I was being nice to him. Have a great day. Bye.